the first thing that the enemy of your soul, Satan, ever did to the first man and woman was to accuse God of an idle threat. In the Garden of Eden, after Eve told the serpent that God said, if we eat from the tree of knowledge of good and evil, we will die. The devil said, you will not surely die. In other words, what Satan did was come back and say, that's an idle threat from God. Don't believe it. Go ahead and do what you want to do. But I'm here to tell you that the second Adam and Eve committed sin against God, they became instantly afraid of God. The peace between the two of them was broken and the peace between them and the earth that God had given them was broken. And so there was an instantaneous spiritual and relational death. And then eventually Adam and Eve did also die physically. So God does not lie and Satan does lie. It was not an idle threat. God meant what he said. And I bring that to your attention because many today think that we who read and study the Bible and know that all of these world events are just pointing to the timeline that God has set up for the return of Jesus Christ to come back to this world, to judge this world for sin, and to make it new. Many people think that's an idle threat, and they think we're crazy for believing this. But the very first thing Satan ever did was accuse God of making a promise that he wasn't going to keep. Jesus is going to come back. It is the devil who wants you to believe otherwise. God wants you to know that the wages of sin, of rebellion against him and his word, that the wages of sin is death, spiritual death, physical death, and eternal death. But the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. My friends, God is sending his son back. We don't know the day or the hour, but the Bible says he's coming back soon. And what that means to us is we have to be ready.